Hey, what's going on you guys? It's your man James aka JP back again with the toy room. So the key to every sort of game room or man cave or anything like that is you want to have some sort of cool LED RGB style of lighting and you guys know that I absolutely love my RGB lighting. I spent a long time trying to get it perfect in the room when I did the remodel and I have just LED strips hidden behind everything that you can possibly imagine. I have color changing light bulbs. I have LED strips behind me. I got the arcade one ups that also act as kind of like a background mood lighting I also have just lights hidden everywhere in this room so I really really love the RGB style of, of lighting that you can put in a man cave to kind of fine-tune it to whatever kind of mood or whatever that you would like to do so when eColor reached out to me to do today's video and to send me these products to review for you guys I was actually pretty excited because again I just I love my lighting and you can never have enough uh, RGB lighting going on uh, so today we're gonna be taking a look at two other products the first one is gonna be the eColor portable uh, LED camping lantern now, I just call this the football because, I mean, let's be honest, that's really what it looks like. Um, and then we're also going to be taking a look at their smart table lamp, which obviously I call the moon for obvious reasons right here. Um, now, the packaging for these is pretty simple and straightforward. You just open it up. It has a tray that obviously houses the products as well as all the necessary cables and instruction manuals, which uh, I didn't really need. The manual is pretty simple and straightforward to set up, and they both do come with uh, micro USB uh, charging cables. Now, uh, for the smart table lamp it always has to be plugged in there's no sort of like rechargeable battery for it but for the portable LED camping lantern that one you can charge it and then take it on the go and you're not tethered to always being plugged into an outlet or anything like that it is very simple and straightforward and I really love uh, the build of these especially the LED camping lantern I'm just gonna refer to that as the football they're, they're gonna be called the football and the moon in this video so for the football I was actually really impressed by it it didn't really feel too like cheap or lightweight where actually, I will admit that the Moon one actually did feel, I, I wouldn't say necessarily cheap, but it did feel pretty lightweight and hollow. I guess because it is such a big piece and you don't really need like that many components on the inside, so there wasn't enough like weight from whatever internals are in there to kind of counterbalance the weight to size like distribution, I guess. But um, I, that's the only thing with the Moon one is it did feel a bit light to me. However, the lighting effects, and no pun with that light reference a second ago, but um, the, the lighting effects on these both are just absolutely incredible. I was actually not expecting them to be nowhere near as bright as they were, and when I got them in hand, man, these things were just absolutely like, with like even on the brightest setting, I kind of had to turn it down a little bit because it was just a little bit too bright to have like right in front of my face. I was actually pretty blown away with just like how bright you can actually get these. And once you download the app and kind of get it all set up in the app, there's so many like different options you can do. It's not just simple like reds, blues, and greens, but you have different like scenes and everything that you can do in there. And my, my favorite one is for the football, you have this kind of like uh, police sirens type of thing and that one's really cool i really do like that but there's so many other different things that you can do um, i'm actually really amazed and i'm going to give you guys a demo of all those different um like lighting effects that you can do they are pretty similar as far as like the different effects and everything that you can get from both of them however some of them have like different effects that are exclusive to that one that the other one does not have but we're going to go ahead and take a look at all that uh nice close up here demo in a second but my overall thoughts and opinion on these lights is they're honestly really really good and i don't believe they're even that expensive either i'll leave links down below where you can purchase these uh but just how much light you get out of something so small is really impressive and with the moon one with all of the leds primarily facing like the front half of the moon i was actually really surprised that the back half of the moon um like everything behind the moon also gets lit up and illuminated even though a majority of the led lights is coming from the front half of the moon so that was really impressive to see i definitely didn't think everything behind the moon was going to get lit up but it did so i was very happy about that but overall thoughts with these guys uh, they're, they're built pretty well uh, other than again the moon one feeling just a little bit lightweight but it's not that big of a deal and the other downside to the moon one at least for me is that you always have to be tethered uh, like plugged in and tethered to an outlet which I wish I had some sort of just like feature where you can like recharge it just like the the football one um but it does make sense because that one is technically meant to be like on a nightstand next to your bed but i still would love to kind of charge it up and just 
put it in a corner in this room somewhere and not have to worry about trying to find a space where I have an outlet available. So that's the only thing that I will say about that one. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the demo of the football and the moon, with it, which are the actual name is obviously the portable LED camping lantern and the smart table lamp. So let's go ahead and get into the demo. All right, you guys, and here are the two devices out of the packaging. So just a couple of things that I wanted to point out really quickly. Uh, here's the design of the like portable LED camping one or the football as I like to call it. And as you can see, it is pretty cool and it's pretty small. It fits right in the palm of your hand, so I do like that. Uh, and what I really love about this design is it's not just like a circle, like all the way around, I guess. I'm not really sure what this shape is, but it's not circular all the way around. You'll see like right here, there's a point and it comes to points in different sections. Uh, and what that does is actually prevent it from like rolling over. And that was my concern before I got it out of the box was like, how is this one gonna be able to stand? But as you can see, because of those different points that it comes to, it actually prevents it from rolling and it catches itself and it just stands up just fine. So that's a really, really cool design aspect that I like and uh, I'm glad to see that here. And then here is the moon, uh, which again, does feel just a little bit more lightweight. And I guess it's not cheap, but it's cheap at the same time, just because of it, how lightweight it is uh, compared to this one, which just feels nice and compact and like just solid where this one just feels really lightweight. But here's the design of this one, as you can see, uh, just a huge section here that gets lit up, which we'll take a look at in a second, which I really do like that. And of course you do have the stand here, so you could stand it up as you can see right there. So you can stand that one up and put it on your nightstand or your table or wherever you would like to. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this one in because like I mentioned, you do have to be tethered uh, to an outlet for this one. This one's portable, so you don't need to be plugged into anything. So let me go ahead and cut off all the lights and then we'll uh, illuminate these all up. Right, you guys, and here are the two products all lit up. Now the camera really isn't doing it any justice of just how bright and how good it looks. Like it looks very orange on camera, but in person to the human eye, this is like a very bright red and it just it looks so good the camera really really does not do it justice um one thing that i did want to note right off the bat is with this football one for some reason it emits some sort of like loud high pitching sound and i'm not really sure why that is uh but we'll go ahead and take a look here so i'm gonna turn it off and we'll do that right now and so there's no sound right and now listen out and see if you can hear this loud like hissing sound i'm gonna turn it off no sound. All right, now let's turn it on. Off. On. So, again, I'm not really sure why that is, and it's not really, like, that annoying or that big of a deal, uh, but it is just something that I did want to point out because it is something that I noticed. Now, the moon one does not do it whatsoever, so I'm not sure why this one does it, but, um, again, you're going to have to take my word for it because the camera really isn't doing it justice of just, like, how good the lights actually look. Let me see if I zoom in if maybe that'll uh, help it a little bit. Not really. It's really kind of hard to capture, like, the true light of how it looks, but we'll go ahead and zoom into the moon as well. Again, just very, very hard to, to capture that, but you have to take my word for it. They look absolutely amazing in, in person. I will say, like, probably the way that this reflection looks off the table is how it looks to my human eye in person. So this looks like this in person. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and hop into the app really quickly. Uh, so I'm going to bring my phone right here to the app. So we'll go back to the home page. You can see my two devices right there. I obviously named the moon and football. Uh, we'll start with the football first. So we'll just hop into the settings right quick. And there you go. So you have obviously like a color wheel. Where you can just select any color you want. And I like really how responsive it actually is. Like as soon as you touch it, it changes. You can also change the, the hue right here on like this bar as well. And you can change the saturation. So if you want it really bright or if you want it, I can't see you. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Uh, or if you want it just kind of more dimmed out and almost like a white tone, you can do that as well. And you can change the warmth and coldness if you want it more cold. Oh my God, that is so bright. Wow. <laughs> My god, okay, so maybe you can kind of tell now like how bright that is that is extremely bright and uh, We're just gonna warm it up. So we'll go all the way down to warm There you go um, And then you can also do a couple other things as well You can go to scenes and there's different scenes right here uh, And I'm just gonna go to my favorite one if I can get the camera to focus on my phone And that's going to be this one called gunball, which essentially is um, it's kind of like police sirens type of thing So we're gonna go ahead and click that and look at that 
Man, that looks so good, and it is so bright. Like, you guys really do not understand how bright this actually is in person. It's really crazy. Uh, just to go through a few of the other scenes, they have something called Dreams, so we're going to click that. And it kind of gives you this, like, rainbow effect. I'm just going to zoom in on the football so you can see that. Uh, I would pay attention more to the reflection on the table. I feel like that's giving you a more accurate representation of how it looks in person. Uh, but that one's called Dream. We're going to switch to Colorful Life. And it's kind of the same as Dream, but just like a different type of pattern. Um, we're going to do Meteor right here. And this one's really cool. You can see uh, it, it kind of looks like, obviously, a meteor falling from the sky. And speaking of sky, this one's called Starry Sky right here. And it's just kind of like glowing stars, like flickering stars almost. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this one's called Rainbow. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. It just goes through the different colors of the rainbow. This one is called Spiral Lighting. Um, and basically you have the light kind of goes around in like one circle and slowly changes colors. This next one is called Bonfire, which is obviously meant to represent a campfire. And uh, here is a really good sort of um, representation. You can see I have a candle on in the background and you can see just how accurate that effect looks to an actual candle. So that's really cool if you don't have any candles around but you want that lighting mood to kind of give you that candle feeling. Uh, next one is called Dynamic. And that just is one solid color and it just shifts constantly. Uh, this one's called Romantic and it just shade, uh, it goes through different shades of like reds and pinks. Uh, this one is called Candlelight, which again is gonna kinda give you that same flickering effect as a candle. This one is called Breathing, which basically just makes the colors pulsate back and forth through the different colors. Uh, this one's called Blue Ocean, which uh, it's just goes through different shades of blue. Doesn't really remind me of an ocean too much. Um, but there you go. This one's called Mosquito Repellent. Now, I'm actually interested if this actually works to repel mosquitoes. I don't know if there's something about this specific, like, light color that repels mosquitoes. Uh, but if that's true, that's honestly really cool, really awesome, and gives this thing just another purpose. Uh, this next one is called SOS. Obviously, it's just a red flashing light. Uh, Dating is this one, and I guess it's kind of similar to Romantic, where it just kind of goes through, like, different romantic colors, I guess. Uh, this next one is called Sweet Home, that kind of just gives you, like, that natural lighting type of feel. Uh, and then Automatic just goes to Automatic, I don't know what that is. And then one other thing we're going to do here is, obviously, you guys can see it's reacting to the sound of my voice. So, it will react to your voice or to whatever music you have playing in the background, so as I stop talking that happens but then as I keep talking so you can see that is actually very very cool and very responsive and you can actually change the speed of it from slow to quick so right now it's on quick I'm just gonna flip it to slow and now uh, I don't really see much more of a difference between quick oh yes okay so yeah there's it's ever so slightly but it's there you can also change the sensitivity right now the sensitivity is on 70 uh, and you can change like the effect so this is called follow right here this is bubble 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 melody right here melody 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 this one's called flower this one's actually really cool it's kind of like a like a psychedelic hippie vibe on that one and this one's called rhythm 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 this is called scattered and oh my god this is like a rave party in here with that one uh yeah so that is that we'll go back to colors oh my god that is so bright uh okay so that is all of the lighting features on the football now let's go ahead and move on to right, the moon. so here is the moon now there are physical buttons on this one so you have a dimmer and a my color button so as i click the dimmer you'll see this is on the lowest setting and then it just has different brightness settings and i think no nope, i missed it that right there is the brightest setting, and it is really bright in person. Like I said, it's coming off more orange in camera, but in person it's completely different. Uh, and then you have my color, which I guess just whatever color you have selected in the app, that's what it defaults to here. Uh, or maybe not, I don't know, but there you go. So, um, again, you have physical buttons, but you can also just go into the app. Uh, so we're going to go back into the app right here, get out of football, and go into the moon. And obviously you can power these on and off as well right here if you just want a quick toggle so we'll turn the moon off as well as the football really quickly it's thinking on the football there you go and then we'll turn both of them back on and my mom's texting me okay um so let's go back into the moon right here and we'll look at some of the other things you can do now it is going to be the same like as far as the way you control the colors and whatnot as you can see you can shift through different colors i'm just going to move this out the way uh again it's really hard to convey how it looks uh, i will say um in person 
the moon is a little bit more muted as far as like the brightness goes compared to this LED camping lantern. Uh, but this is meant to be more of a lamp than an actual just like lighting source. Um, but everything's going to be the same, like the way you choose the colors and everything like that. And the way that it responds to your voice, as you can see here, I am talking, it's responding to my voice. And what's a really cool thing that you can see right now, if you look at the background right here on my Blu-rays that I have, you can actually see how it's lit up from the moon as well as the LED lantern. But I'm going to take the lantern out of the way and put that. And you can see just how much brightness you get from uh, behind. And, you know, there's not as much behind as there is in the front like the front you have way more lighting however did this become unplugged i think it did let me plug that back in there we go um however you can just see like how much brightness you get from the back so i just i really really like that uh so anyways let's go back down here and take a look so i'm gonna go through this really quickly this video is kind of getting a little bit long but um you can do the same thing here follow this one's called bubble so you can see how that effect looks right there uh this one's called melody 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 and that's all you get as far as like the voice recognition or like the the music um you only get three settings on this one colors I, I mentioned is the same now here are the scenes so we're gonna do dating on this one as you can see it, it again i'm gonna just take this out it's getting a little distracting because that one is so much brighter um but as you can see it just kind of goes through like more romantic colors and then speaking of romantic you have this one here and it goes through like reds and pinks. This one's called Flash, so we did not have this one on the other one, and it just flashes through colors. Uh, this one is called Candlelight, and it just kind of gives you that like warm, natural type of light. Uh, this one's called Breathing, so this is gonna pulsate like the other one did. Uh, Dynamic here just switches through solid colors. Uh, this one's called Movie, and I wasn't really able to figure out what this one really is. It just kind of like stays blue, basically, so. Uh, this one's called working, so you get this really like bright white light as if you're like in an office space type of thing. And then this one's called reading, and it gives you that more warm toned light, but increases the brightness up all the way. And man, like it's really hard to tell how bright this actually is, but if I move this out the way and then just like light up the whole room, I'm in a completely pitch black room right now, so you can see just like how that lights up the entire room. I'm putting this right back down here uh what else do we have this one's called game and it's kind of like movie it just kind of stays blue so uh yeah okay uh automatic is what this one is which kind of just goes through different colors uh this one's called colorful life and you kind of get a rainbow effect on this one if you can kind of see there you go you can see it really good right there uh this one's called sweet home so this gives you again more like warm tones as far as like the lighting goes and it's again really hard to kind of make out and it got unplugged so that's the one thing i really don't like about this one is you constantly have to stay tethered uh, or else it doesn't work um but there you go uh let me reconnect in the app now because this went to sleep and that reconnected really fast. Uh, this one's called Snow World. So it kind of stays in like this bluish white color and kind of flickers on and off as if it's obviously snowing. And man, this cable got disconnected again, I believe. That is my fault though, because I am moving it all over the place. Um, but let's turn this back on. All right, so this one's called Bonfire. Again, I'm gonna give you that sort of campfire feel. And a really good comparison is that candle you see over in the corner right there. Uh, blue Ocean, we had this one on the other one. Again, it just kind of is like blue and white and light blue. Uh, this one's called Switching, which obviously it just switches colors. Uh, and then this one's called Rolling right here, and it kind of gives you more of like a, a rainbow, like galaxy type of vibe on this one. Uh, and then everything else is going to be exactly the same. Uh, now you can put like timers on these on when you want them to turn on and when you want them to turn off. And you can also change, make custom colors and rename them in the app. There's a lot of customization to these. So they are really awesome. I cannot recommend these enough. Like if you need some sort of LED lighting or any sort of lighting for whatever, if you just want to put it by your bedside table and not have like your traditional lamp, uh, this moon one is really fun for younger kids as well. Just that whole moon shape. And I don't know why that turned off. Does it? Oh. Okay. So I just discovered something while doing this review. So it wasn't actually the cable that kept getting disconnected. It, I didn't know this. And this is what happens when you don't read the instructions. It has a touch sensitive thing right here. So if you tap it, well, now it's not registering. There you go. So you can tap it on and off. Okay, so I just learned something new, so that's pretty cool. So that was not the cable that was the issue. It was me being an idiot and not reading the instructions. So there you go. All right, you guys, so there's my review of the e-color portable LED camping lantern as well as the uh, smart table lamp, a.k.a. the football 
and the moon. So overall, I am really, really impressed with these products and I can't wait to really get them displayed in the room and just kind of figure out exactly where I want to put them and how I want to set them up and everything like that. But again, a huge shout out to eColor for sending these out for me to review for you guys. Even though they did send them out, these are all my own thoughts and opinions and I am genuinely impressed with these products. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Be sure to follow me down on Instagram. That link's in the description down below as well as the link to purchase these products if you're interested. So I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here as always guys stay tuned for more and i'll see you guys next time